Welcome to another episode of Mama Cat's Rock and Eat. It's Halloween, it's fall, we want some good food. Today we are making green chili chicken enchiladas. They are going to be so delicious, creamy and cheesy. Make some, says Mama Cat. And the recipe will be in the description below. Okay, so we're gonna start with our block of cream cheese, eight ounces, softened. Put that in a mixing bowl. I already put in my spices. I put in a good generous half a teaspoon of chili powder and a generous half a teaspoon of ground cumin. And then I did a half teaspoon of salt. You add in your seven ounce can of green chili diced. I get mild for this, but you could go medium or spicy, whatever you find. I like it because then you can always, people can add in a little uh, hot sauce on top at the end if you want and just stir this up. And now we'll add in fresh chopped cilantro. You don't need to add it if you don't like it. You could put it on the side if you have some people that don't like it and they can put it on the top later, but uh, all right, we all like it in here. So I'm gonna throw some in, just a couple little handfuls. Stir it up. It gives it a lot of flavor. I love cilantro, some people don't, and it's just kind of a thing. Now you'll want three cups of pre-cooked chicken. I use chicken thighs because it's nice and moist and flavorful and tasty and I thought it would be good in these. But you could use chicken breast, you can use a mixture of both. Three cups of chicken, cut up, put it in here. Stir it into your cream cheese mixture. This is going to be the filling for your enchiladas. Try not to mash it too much, just toss it around in there. And make sure you preheated your oven to 375 so it'll be ready for you. This is what it looks like. You can see it's gonna be a creamy, tasty, flavorful filling. Now we'll make the mixture that's going to be the sauce on top and a little we're gonna put on the bottom of the pan. For this, I have a 28 ounce can of green chili enchilada sauce. Or you could use salsa verde if you don't have this. You could use that too, just the green salsa. Now I'm gonna stir it up a little bit. I shook it a minute ago, but since it's been a second, I'm gonna pour half of it first to see what that looks like. Then I'm going to take my sour cream, and this is one cup of sour cream. You could use regular, you could use light. I'm using regular today. Give this full flavor. Mix it up. You know what? I'm gonna get my whisk. Whisk it till it mixes up. Again, this is a good thing you can make for company because you can have it all pre-made and then just put it in the oven, you know, 30 minutes before you're gonna eat. Okay, this looks like such a good sauce. I'm gonna put in a little more of this. So I'd say I, I used about three-fourths of this can. Mix it up. Look at this sauce. That is going to be so good. That is going to be the sauce on top. I'm gonna put a little bit more. We're almost using this whole thing. You know what, I'm just gonna put the whole thing. So 28 ounce can. I wanted to eyeball it because the last time I made this, I used salsa, chil green chili salsa. But this time I'm using the enchilada sauce because I just thought it'd be good. I love enchilada sauce. Okay, that's it. Now you're going to want to spray your pan and you just lightly spray your pan so it doesn't stick. And now we're gonna put together our enchiladas. So now you take your eight inch flour tortillas. These are the burrito size and you need 10 of them. I'm using flour. You could use corn tortillas if you want, but the flour are really good with this green chili and, and cheese mixture. Now what you wanna do is I sprayed my pan already, so I'm gonna put a little bit of the sauce on the bottom. Kind of like when you make a lasagna or a pasta dish, a lot of times you'll put a little of the sauce on the bottom. So that's what I'm doing here. Just spread it around evenly. I have a feeling I'm gonna use both pans, but we'll see. All right, so now take a nice big scoop of your chicken mixture, taking my mixture, putting it in the middle. All right, then you Fold it over like you do a burrito. If you've never made one, this is how you do it. Then you fold each end and fold it over. Put it in your pan. See, 
All right, so here we are. We've got our chicken enchiladas all wrapped up and you can see what they look like. So it'll be like nine or 10. If you need to make 10, you know, for a party, just make sure you proportion it so that you have that many. Now you're gonna take the rest of your sauce and pour it over the tops. So they're all covered. And get that all over the top. If you like chicken suisas, enchiladas, you're gonna love this. Now you wanna get your Monterey Jack cheese. In one package is two cups. You could shred it yourself, and then you need two cups shredded. I just buy it pre-shredded, and it works. You sprinkle it all evenly over the tops, the whole bag. So they're gonna be cheesy, creamy, yum. And if you like more spice, put a little hot in it. You know, you could even use um, some little diced jalapenos in it too. Don't be afraid to play with the recipe a little bit, you know? Like I always say. Now they're ready to go in the oven and your 375 degree oven. It's all set for us. Put them in there. Set your timer for 30 minutes. Now you're gonna want to keep an eye on these and you'll want them to be bubbling in the pans. So it's just all bubbling and a little bit brown with the cheese on the top. So it's lightly brown. Coming right out of the oven, look how good these look. All right, so let's get one of these out and see what it looks like on the inside. Ooh, look at that. Get some sauce on there. I don't put the sauce again on the top because it's got the pretty cheese on it right now. And then after you serve them, you could put, sprinkle a little more cilantro on top of each plate and just take a couple of cilantro leaves and sprinkle it on top. Look at that. Let's open it up. I'm going to just cut a little bite in there. Look at that. Got your, your delicious mixture in there. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bite of this. Oh man, the chicken, the green chilies, the cheese, a little brown on top the tang of the sour cream sauce inside, you are going to want to make these. I'll be making them a lot more often. I'm not gonna let so much time go by. And that's it. Cheers from Mama Cats Rock and Eats. Come back for another episode. We will make something else good. Happy Halloween. Cheers.